Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Neon Hearts City, a new upcoming adventure game by the adventure game making machine that is Cosmic Void. <laughs> um, I don't know how Cosmic Void keeps creating this amount of games, it is truly staggering, but they're all really good. And this one is cyberpunk themed, so I'm really looking forward to this, let's jump over a new game. Um, looks like that classic Cosmic Void style, which is fantastic. Okay, Elijah, so is this us? It was one of those days. 14 hours in the office and all I've got to show for it is this ramen craving that won't quit. It's not like people stopped going missing. They didn't. Like coins slipping through couch cushions happens every day. But with so many cases going cold, who's going to trust some back alley private eye? Elijah Crow? Okay, so this is someone called Scarlet, who I'm guessing is here. That's me. I was hoping to find you. Could we talk? Sure, why not swing by the office? I wanted to, but got cold feet. Stepping in there would have made it too real, and I wasn't ready for that. So you tailed me to my ramen spot instead? I didn't mean to follow, I know it's awkward. Please, I've got no one else to turn to. Take a breath, tell me what's going on. It's my daughter, Audrey, she's been missing for three weeks. I don't have proof, but I think the cops aren't really trying to find her. I'm sorry to hear that, how old is she? She just turned 17 this July. Got any clue what might have happened? Not really. Her friends last saw her at the basketball court on Marshall. Things are right at home. We haven't been close lately, with my hours and her, well, teenage years. But no, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, and here's a photo of her. She's the spitting image of her mum, right? She is. I'm Scarlet. Sorry, I should have said that sooner. Listen, I'll take the case, but I've got to be straight with you, Scarlet. It won't come cheap. Anything. And... I know, missing persons cases go cold quick in this city, but she's my daughter. Tell me about Audrey. Hobbies? Friends? Not much for hobbies, really. Just comics. A couple childhood friends, Riley and Athena, they swear they don't know a thing. How was she in school? No trouble. Grades were good decent. Anywhere else I should check, besides the court and marshal? I'm not sure. Like I said, we weren't that close. No father? It's just the two of us. He died in the Dark War. I want to know more about the Dark War. <laughs> Leave your details with me, I'll be in touch. Thank you, I'll be waiting. Alright, well, we're straight in, aren't we, with, um, everything. And just like that, she was gone, leaving me with a new case, but I had a bad feeling. In my years, if my years as a detective taught me anything, it's that Audrey's odds weren't looking good. Check your phone to see all available locations. Take a look inside your bag, you're already carrying a few things. Click the cog for options or press escape. Alright, so we've got a bag. In here is a camera. I'll take photos of this gadget. And electric hand warmers. You'll be sweating in the North Pole with these. <laughs> okay. And then the phone shows us locations. So we've got the basketball court. We've got the ramen joint. And that is it so far. Alright, let's have a look around. There's a girl here. City's not what it used to be. Was it ever any different? No. Nah, you're right. It's always been a pit. Busy night? Just the usual. Got a smoke. Sorry, I quit. Quit vegetables too. <laughs> ah, yeah, you don't exactly scream cauliflower guy. Funny thing, veggies are all I eat. Okay. Back street is that way. And uh, we've got a motorcycle. Is this ours? If I were 20 years younger, I'd buy myself a Night Dragon 3000 and ride it straight to the coast. Hole up in some cove, living off lobster and coconut. So I wonder if that's a reference to Twilight Oracle. <laughs> but back then, I could never have afforded one of those. Okay, so we've got an ATM got a beer, a diner, and a ramen joint, and then I don't think we can go that way. Oh, there's a little cat here as well. Can we use the ATM? And to think we had to go through a civil war to bring back cake, paper cash. This should keep me going tonight. Oh, okay, did we... I don't, I don't see it in our inventory. There's beer here? You sure you're going to drink that beer? Yeah, nothing like cold beer after ramen. Ain't that the truth. The only way to end a good bowl of ramen, slurp it down to the last drop. No other way of going about it. Can we pet the cat? Yeah, we can. These resurrected cats almost pass for the real deal. Even meow like it. Resurrected cats? Out of all the extinct creatures... What? They revived. Mammoths and cats really hit the jackpot. Cats went extinct? Okay, the ramen joined them. <clears throat> hey boss, one black garlic ramen to go. Would have stuck around to savour it, but this new case needs my attention. Want something to wash it down? Yeah, cold beer would hit the spot. I only got the spicy kind left. Even better, bring it on. 
we talking just spicy or sweat through my shirt spicy? Go for the extra spicy. Coming right up. Oh, hang on. Sorry, out of that too. Oh, come on. Guy, before you snag the last beer. Wait, so no cold beer with my ramen. That's criminal. Can we take that? Oh, he's going to keep it. All right. I mean, we've got our ramen, though. Can we? Squid ink pasta, apparently, is better than ramen. All right, well, let's, um, I guess, head to this, this court and investigate. The basketball court on Marshall, the last one in the city. There was a time when every block had one, or maybe an ice rink. Now it's a relic, like those video rental shops. Speaking of which, I've still got a movie to return. This is cool. There's an airship. Huh. You got a perfect view of Rock Prison from here. That's where the worst of them end up. The ones guilty of thought crimes. And they had to put it right up there in the sky. So you never forget what crime they hate the most. Interesting. I love how the scene is being set already, through like just looking at things. It's very good. Hoop. Never was one for hoops. Back in school, wrestling was my thing. Might have made nationals if I hadn't busted my knee. Still gives me trouble. We all know somebody who would have made it as a professional in some sort of sport if it wasn't for like a knee injury, right? It's just like the thing. Uh, the street. Too quiet around here. Way too quiet. Aside from me and that guy, not a sound for blocks. Not even the scurry of a rat. Right, and Kaysen? Evening. Hey. You always come out here to shoot hoops alone at night? Just clearing my mind. No one to hassle you out here. Except Rock looming up there. Yeah, constant reminder. Better watch what you think. Especially on an empty stomach at this hour. Wait, so are they like reading everyone's minds? It's an interesting concept. And definitely not without something to drink. Hmm, I might need to grab some booze to get him to open up. Okay, well. So we're going to need some booze. And really, I think the only place we're going to get that is surely at the diner. So we're going to need to get this guy's beer, I'm guessing. Unless there's a way of like... Shady side of town wakes up when the sun goes down. A haven for hustlers and cheats, where the real circus is in the streets, not the tents. A world of ghosts, schools, and angels. I once knew an angel, never thought losing someone could cut this deep. I like this sort of like noir as well, like cyberpunk noir, it's very cool. Um, can we get this then? You sure you're gonna drink that beer? Okay, maybe we've gotta like. Maybe we've gotta give him the ramen? Do you want this? I should think this over. Okay. So there's no... There's no beer. Can we get a drink? I've already got my daily fix of ramen. Does she know anything about... No, she doesn't. Alright. Well, what else have we got in our inventory? We've got a camera. And we've got these hand warmers. Can we, like, warm up the beer? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> warming up your beer. You just warmed up my beer. I can't drink that now. Why don't I take it off your hands? <laughs> nice, okay. Excellent. <clears throat> I mean, I hope this guy doesn't want a cold beer. Because we haven't got one of those now. Every evening ends with one. That is probably not a good place to be. Ah, just what I needed. Have you ever been up there? On Rourke? Thank God, no. If even half the rumours are true, I'd lose my mind. Ah, oh, they're true. Spent the summer of 65 there. They keep you awake while they strip you of your memories one by one. Childhood gone, bit by bit. By the end of it, no mum, no dad, nothing. They told us a clean mind is a safe mind. Say it enough, you start to believe it. What they look you up for? Nothing, just filling quotas. My number came up. That's crazy, I'm sorry. Wait, so they send you to prison to fill a quota? So they just like, what, if they're, they've got space, they just draw random people and send them to prison? It's fine. My mind's clean now. No more trouble. Not too clean, I hope. I've got some questions about a girl. You're in the wrong neighbourhood for that. Not that kind of thing. She used to hang around here at night like you do. Name's Audrey. Here's a photo. Dot, dot, dot. You've seen her, haven't you? Doesn't matter. You won't catch her. Not where she's going. Where's that? To, to Rourke? Dot, dot, dot. Her mother's worried. She wants her found. She's after the lost memory, the one that matters most. Where do you find something like that? Where indeed? Some place she read about in her comic books. Her mother said she was into those. 
She'd sit by the fence reading, night after night. Superheroes and the like? More like murder mysteries. She liked the way the clues were all there. The real puzzle was piecing them together. That's interesting. Thanks, that helps a lot. Guess I'll swim by the comic book shop. The new location is now accessible. Cool. Oh God, it's very, very good. This, the storytelling and the, the atmosphere, the dialogue, everything is very immersive and descriptive, isn't it? I'm, I'm like in. I'm in. I'm immersed. All right, the comic book shop. Here we go. This place is the only comic shop for a mile. Hope it's the one Audrey liked to hang around. All right, let's have a look. Oh, my God. Look at all these references here. Look. Okay, we've got the Atlantean Pyramid, Maximus the Vandal, Ogres of the Red Moon. Look at all this cool stuff. Oh, that's, that's so good. Poster. A poster of some girl with a giant sword. That's Tammy the Warlock Slayer. My favourite issue just came out. Tammy finally decapitates the Warlock King and drinks wine from his skull. Love you. Isn't she just dreamy? Right, let's talk to the clerk. Hey. If you hear about Dragon Mages, yeah, we know it's bombed. No refunds though, store policy. Not what I'm here for actually. Ah oh, sorry, just a reflex. Everyone's been after refunds ever since the author croaked halfway through the series, damn. <laughs> they gave the ending to some hack who can't write to save his life. Right, I'd write it if I were a fan. But I'm looking for someone, a customer of yours, Audrey. Audrey? She used to come in all the time, rented something new every weekend. Think you can print out what she rented recently? Uh, I don't know, there's privacy policies and stuff. It's just that we have similar tastes. I love all the comics she's into. And you get a commission, don't you? True, but how do I know you're not just some creep? Oh, I got it, a quiz. Oh no. If you're really a fan of comic books, this should be easy. Pass and I'll print out her rental history for you. Fine, hit me with it. All right, listen up. I'm gonna hint at five classic comics. You can see them on the covers here. Point to all five in the order I mentioned, ready? Sure, go ahead. Okay, here we go. First, all grief and decay marries out for revenge. Second, Raoul's more machine than man and wires instead of veins. Third, it's a bloody world of stomping giants and endless brawls. Fourth, creation sparkles and gleams in its beauty. Last, an ancient monument that touches the sky. Okay, let's see. To show the riddle, hover over the question mark sign. Ooh, cool. Click the five comic books in the order they are referred to. Okay, so we're going to have to look at these. The Atlantean Pyramid, Maximus the Vandal, O's of the Red Moon. Uh, okay. Was that Time? The Genesis Gem, Blood Axe, American Werewolf, The Girl from Gamma Draconis, and Zombie Widow. <clears throat> All Grief and Decay, Mary's Out for Revenge. Okay, so... Mary's Out for Revenge. Side... Fist of the Paladin, what was that time? The Genesis Gem. Could it be Zombie Widow? Maybe. Zombie Widow. Uh, Rail's more machine than man, and wires instead of veins. Okay. Cybernetic Undead, maybe? Cybernetic Undead. A bloody world of stomping giants and endless brawls. Okay. Uh... Maybe Ogres of the Red Moon? Well, it's out of time. Fist of the Paladin. I'm, I'm thinking it might be Ogres of the Red Moon. <clears throat> Fourth, Creation Sparkles and Gleams in its Beauty. Okay, that's going to be a difficult one, but maybe the Genesis Gem. American Wolf, Blood Axe, Fist of the Paladin. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe this one. And then an ancient monument that touches the sky. I'm guessing is going to be the Atlantean Pyramid. Oh, look at that. You really know your comic books. Nice. That wasn't too difficult. Grew up on this stuff. <clears throat> All right. Let me get that print out for you. Let's take a look. Hmm. Interesting. What's up? It looks like most of Audrey's rental history is wiped. The only thing I can recover is the last comic she rented. Okay. Worlds Out of Time, issue 8. You'll find it on the front shelf. <clears throat> Appreciate it. You've been a big help. Uh, okay, so Worlds Out of Time. The last comic Audrey rented. Looks like it's about some Captain McKay on the starship Leviathan. He's got that determined look, but what's driving him? It seems like he's hunting for an alien species that lives in the dusk of space. Ancient entities born from the husks of dead gods. Known as Yin Sians in Makai's galaxy, they wander the outer reaches of space. 
There's something McK McKay's after, but what? Oh, he lost his wife. Could the Yinseans help with that? There's something underlined here. It reads, The Leviathan closed in on the space station. <clears throat> a tower of dark matter and exotic materials drifting in a sea of shattered stars. Someone added a note in red ink. I have to go there. Cheryl could help. Did Audrey write this? And if she did, go where? To which tower? Wait, there's really only one she could have meant. Berwyn Tower. I know where you can spot it, just off the coast. Am I really going back there? That tower tried to kill me three times when I was watching it for clients. And now I'm heading back for another round. I must be out of my mind. Hey, can I rent this comic? Sorry, that's our only copy and it's reserved for one of our regulars. New location is accessible. Mm, okay, here we go. All the way out here to the shore. <coughs> hey, check out this place. Well guys, I tell you what, we are out of time, so I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below so you can carry on playing this demo, it's very good. Uh, this could potentially be one of my favourite Cosmic Void games in all honesty, I'm really, really hooked on all of it. But we'll leave it there, so as always, thank you very much for watching, a big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Tony Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadim, Paul Leon, Frosty the Sheep, JohnCom555, Chrissy, Paul James and Zoltes, and I'll see you next time.